Okay, so um, I'm here to talk about making money. So a change of tone. Okay, so I'm from Hong Kong, uh, Dr. Hagen So, and um, is it up there yet? Okay, yes. All right, so um, we might have met because um, the biggest um, CC-related international event held in Hong Kong was the Wikimania uh, 2013. Okay, and some, somebody already told me that um, they went there and I was one of the volunteers, so we probably met. So 1,000 people came um, from uh, 88 countries. And then I got this book, okay? So this book is um, uh, some overseas participants, maybe from uh, Berlin, that um, they, they printed and then brought it by air um, from afar to come to Hong Kong to explain the problem of NC or um, the non-commercial restrictions. Okay, so this is the book. If you cannot see it, it's too small here, right? So, um, so some of the questions they try to answer is put up there, okay? And that's one particular question that I would like to talk about, okay? Um, okay, so this is actually an expanded way to say that businesses are thieves, okay? So, so this is one way um, the CC community see businesses, okay? So another story. In 2015, um, CC started a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter on a CC business model book um, made with Creative Commons, and it was very successful. More than uh, 1,600 backers pledged more than um, 65,000 US dollars. So this is another way the CC community see businesses. Okay, so um, today I um, went to many talks and met with uh, different C uh, people um, doing advocacy, uh, civil groups, and they're doing a lot of good and uh, campaigning against, against the ever increasing control over copyright. And I can also met with NGOs, uh, people from education institution, they are adopting CC. But how about the business world? Whether they are um, bad, okay, they are bad, or whether they are good, we need to convince them, okay? We need to convince them in order to win this war um, about copyright. And then we can prove our opponents wrong by demonstrating that the open um, business models are viable alternative other than control. And we can achieve this by getting more and more people to receive what they should earn with, um, with less control um, on their copyright. Okay, and one of the one of the important tools for CC um, adoption is the CC chooser. And then I will suggest we can do the same thing for the open business models. So rather than um, getting people to read the whole book from beginning to the end, um, made with uh, Creative Commons, as we can, um, we can reorganize the uh, content of the book uh, by making an open business model chooser, okay? So in the book, there are two, um, two ca uh, big categories. One is the uh, market-based uh, revenue stream, and the other one is the re reciprocity-based revenue stream. And so we uh, first, in the chooser, we have those categories, and then we can point to um, different, um, different cases so that people can assess the cases very quickly. And after they've read a few cases, they probably will read the whole book, 
and um, understand how the whole things work. Okay, and also um, the content of the book is very good, but on the other hand, if someone really decide to build a business on CC, that's not enough. We need to add more details on the execution. And for example, for open hardware, uh, usually um, the open hardware company, they will share the design using CC, but they will control um, um, the trademark and patent of the product. Okay, so that is quite complicated. And also, um, it is um, normal for a book to have a lot of successful cases, but we should also be frank about the mistakes and failure so that it looks real, okay? It's, and then, and also, those who decide to adopt CC in their business know what they can avoid. And, um, and also, we should collect cases that failed. I would like to ex uh, share my own experience on an open hardware project that um, the Hong Kong Creative Open Technology Association um, support. Um, okay, so um, it's called Tiny Boy. Okay, so it's a, it's a 3D printer for education. It's a small printer, uh, but um, I will share the detail in my section tomorrow because I'm running out of time. Um, and then we should also add um, some um, existing tools like uh, Patreon, and also some new cases like um, Litecon. I think um, like there's a session on uh, Litecon um, in the conference and also uh, last year in Summit. And this is also a very good tool for uh, donation or membership. Um, and this is also a very good anti-example for the need for more control in copyright. Okay, to sum up, we should um, we should make it easier to find out more about open business models, increase the depth of the materials, and we should update the material more frequently. Okay, so up to this point, it seems that I uh, imply that Creative Commons, the nonprofit organization, will promote these business models by herself with the CC community. This do not have to be the case. CC have a number of traditional partners, especially in the area of free and open source software. One of uh, one organization that actively promote open source business models is the Linux Foundation. They put out a guide. Um, okay, so um, they put out a guide. Um, open source strategy. At, um, at a really accessible position on their website. And of course, um, source code is quite different from some arts music. Um, but even though there's uh, differences in the nature of the content, some of the models are also applicable. For example, cost saving and improve in quality if you use CC materials, okay? So, and that is also a very good uh, selling point for existing business to first to use CC material. And another less known project I would like to introduce is called the Open Chain. So what happens is in software, um, software basically built upon libraries, okay? And it's very easy to lost track of uh, which library uh, is this program based on and what are the licenses, okay? And so that will become a problem. And then um, and the Open Chain project make open source licensing simple and consistent in the supply chain. So that's a chain in making um, software. So what do they do? They actually um, run training and then compliance um, courses, and, and so they have different goals. These are the goals to make sure that if you use um, open source software and open source code in your company, um, 
you follow the specification of OpenChain, then you will know, um, you can then manage the licenses and make sure the quality is good. Okay, so this is the um, first goal, and then the rest of the document is about how to um, fulfill um, these goals and achieve compliance. So for CC, the compliance is basically through the uh, certificate course, um, um, mostly for libraries, education. So how about CC compliance for businesses? Okay, so um, for open source software uh, used in um, companies or generated inside companies, um, there are documents, graphics, songs, inside those projects, and they're usually licensed under CC. So my suggestion is to work with the open chain and propose that in their, doc in their documents, they include uh, CC as well, okay? So they include CC as well, and, and so that we can co-promote, and, um, and then we can reach many existing business already. Um, and then, Rather than those big organizations, there are also um, individuals. For example, um, um, there's a broadcast uh, called Request for uh, Commits. And one of the hosts, Nadia Ebra Xu, uh, maintained um, a list called um, uh, Lemonade Stand, which actually have a list and a guide to uh, financial support for open source. And that's also um, have a lot of value for us. Okay, so to conclude, um, to conclude, um, I would suggest that we engage businesses in CC from a, a business model advocacy group, and then um, create an open source business chooser, and then, um, discuss failure and pitfall and build alliances. Okay, so one last uh, story. So last year when Microsoft bought a major open source software development platform called GitHub, uh, Microsoft CEO Lata um, Nadia said that we are all on, we are all in on open source. So for those who um, follow the history of open source and you know um, Microsoft. Some some go way back the um, Halloween uh, documents and so on, and so um, they changed so much. And so, if open source had already won, so will CC. So thank you.